Hey everybody, Scott Monday with Kitchen and Bath Crate, and in April we're profiling a concept of April showers. And so today what I want to do is talk with you a little bit about shower doors. Now, shower doors are a really important design and function feature for your new bath crate project. And there's actually quite an array of different finishes, different glass types, and also different things that you can do to help with uh, sort of water wicking on the shower door. So let's jump right into those things. So first of all, when it comes to the type of shower door, there's a few options when it comes to the frame. You have everything from a full frame. Now this is going to be your most cost effective. You're going to see a lot of metal frame on this though and what that allows is the frame to support the shower door and allows the glass to get thinner and thus the cheaper price. Then at the other end of the spectrum you have a full frameless shower door. Now the only hardware you have on a frameless shower door are the clips and the clips would be at the connection to the glass in the wall um, or the floor in the glass. But really, it's a very minimal amount of uh, hardware on a frameless shower door. Now, of course, what that means is the support for the shower enclosure or the shower door comes from the thickness of the glass itself and thus the highest price. Right in the middle of those two is what they call a semi-frameless, which as you can imagine is sort of a, a, the marrying of the two. It, it's kind of a more delicate frame and uh, the glass is a little bit thicker than you're going to see on a... Uh, full frame and thinner than you'll see on a frameless. And so it's kind of a middle of the road, probably the more common uh, shower door that we do uh, for bath crate projects. And so that's the, the frame scenario when it comes to shower doors. So let's talk a little bit about finishes. Um, just like with your faucets or perhaps your cabinet hardware, um, your most common um, shower enclosure frame finishes are going to be your brushed or satin nickel, also called stainless steel. Those are all in the same family. Um, kind of a more of a um, less shiny version of metal. Um, um, we can of course do chrome, but chrome has kind of gone by the wayside over the last few, uh, last decade or so, if you will. And then um, definitely a more common uh, material that we see coming up is an oil rub bronze. And so you can also do your shower door in an oil rub bronze finish. Um, next, let's talk about glass types. So. Definitely the most common type of glass you're going to see is just a standard clear glass. Um, but there's also options to do more of a patterned glass, things like a rain glass, um, you know, lots of other different, a reeded glass, that's another common one. For people that just don't want um, uh, full transparency with their shower enclosure. Um, the last thing I want to mention to you is the concept of a shower enclosure coating. Um, so much like rain for your car windshield, there's coatings that can be applied at the factory to the shower enclosure that allows water to wick off. And so, of course, you know, you're taking a shower, water splashes on the enclosure, and literally the water would just slowly um, kind of wick off and leave a very minimal amount of spotting. Um, and that's really good for people that, number one, don't squeegee their showers. Perhaps like me, you have kids and your kids would never squeegee the shower. And so kind of the wicking um, element would be um, a good thing to go with. Now, if you're the type that really likes to squeegee the shower enclosure after every use, you probably don't want to do the coating because it, it, it violates the warranty on the coating itself. So really it comes down to if you're a squeegee fan or not. So um, in light of April showers, we just wanted to share that with you. It's kind of some design elements around your shower enclosure. If you have specific questions about your bath crate uh, project, hey, give us a call. We'd love to talk with you. 888-995-7996 or as always, go to kbcrate.com and you'll see a ton of past bath crate projects. Thanks so much.